Hi guys, this is John here. As part of today's lecture, we will look at an introduction on how to use Paint 3D. And in today's lecture, we will start building the foundation towards understanding 3D modeling and how we will build 3D models in Paint 3D. But in today's lecture, we will understand just basics on how to use Paint 3D. So let's get started. So if you've already started Paint 3D, you can start a new canvas. A new canvas is like a new piece of paper on which you will draw. So let's go to menu. We go to new. And then we have a new canvas that comes up. You can use this zoom feature to zoom in and out. So I'm using my mouse to click here. Now, Paint 3D has a lot of features from brushes, 2D shapes, 3D shapes, stickers, text, effects, and canvas. In today's lecture, first we will start off with brushes and then move on to other parts in subsequent lectures. So let's get started. So first, let us look at these brushes here. The first brush is a marker brush. If I click on marker, and here I can set the thickness of my brush. So I'll quickly show you that. And here you can adjust the color that you want. So let's say I start off with the color orange and I start drawing with a marker here. So let us say marker. So as you see, it, it writes a marker here. And let's say if I increase the thickness, so you can see that the thickness is really high. Similarly, I can change the color. So first let's reduce the thickness a little bit. And then what I'm doing is after I've reduced the thickness, I change my color. So let's say I'm writing with a reduced thickness here. So that's my marker. Now let's look at my next option, which is a calligraphy pen. So if you know calligraphy and how a calligraphy pen writes, so here's an example. I write Eddie Vance using a calligraphy pen. Let's try and reduce the thickness a little bit and write that again. And there you go. Now you can keep playing around with this. You can look at different variations and try on your own. The third option that I have is an oil brush. So let's look at what an oil brush does. So it's actually like a paintbrush. So the fourth option here on the right hand side is a watercolor option. It's like you're using a watercolor brush where it's more to give a watery effect as you can see. And I can actually change the style. So if I do a glossy finish, it gives a slightly more glossy finish. You can try these different options and see what makes your 3D model or your 3D paint come alive and look more pleasing to the eye. So let's continue. You have a pixel pen. A pixel pen basically allows you to draw more like a felt pen. So let's take the pink color. So it's more like a felt pen that we use to color in school. The next option is your typical pencil. So if you remember the pencil that we use and we use a sharpener to sharpen. So it gives you that kind of an effect. This is your eraser. So it's basically used to erase. So I'm getting rid of this. You can increase the thickness of the eraser. So it's effectively helps you erase more. This is the crayon effect. Here you can actually draw like a crayon. Here it's a spray can. So as though you have a spray can in your hand and you're spraying on the screen. So let's say hello. And last but not least, this is your fill option. So the fill option is a little interesting where first you need to create a boundary. So let's say I create a boundary. And then when I need to fill, I can use this fill option using a color and just click here. And it fills this area 
with the color that you just selected. So let's look at another example. Let's take the pixel pen again. Let us take a square and now let us try and fill this with another color. Let's take pink and click on the fill option and here I can fill this. So now you can try these different permutations and combinations to get used to the brushes because when you create your 3D model, you will have to use these brushes to actually color them. And based on the application, you will know how to use them, and give the effect to the 3D model based on what you're trying to design. So as part of this lecture, we looked at the brushes section of Paint 3D. In the next lecture, we will look at 2D shapes. So that was it for this lecture. I shall see you in the next lecture. Thank you guys.